going on guys? So things have been a bit crazy over the past little while. I've been having to reset up the lab as you guys know uh, because I recently moved and so things have been uh, pretty nuts getting set up again. I just wanted to make a little quick little video here just to let you guys know that I'm still here and I'm still uh, trying to get uh, the lab set up and I'm going to be jumping back into making content for my channel but there's a lot of setup involved. Day-to-day -day stuff that has taken a lot of time, uh, just again, getting set up here in the new new location. So the latest thing, just so I, it's something cool that I recently uh, managed to get going and that is my, my logic analyzer here. I've shown you guys this before. This is my TLA 715. It's a TLA 700 unit, series of the uh, logic analyzer uh, modules as well as pulse generators and I recently just fixed a couple of these and I got an extra one and I'm going to be swapping out this DSO unit uh, oscilloscope uh, to facilitate another uh, logic analyzer module so I'm going to be able to do some really intensive uh, logic analysis on uh, some of the uh, RAM and a bunch of the different development systems that I have uh, as well as some SCSI work and doing uh, different protocol uh, analysis. Anyway, so it's been trying to get these different uh, probes set up. These are all various logic signal analysis probes for the TLA 700 unit. And these units here on the bottom are the uh, variable probes. And essentially you have a full range of uh, voltages that you can select as opposed to uh, these units here, which are sort of locked uh, based on the uh, signal type whether it's TTL, CMOS, or you, have, you also have LV CMOS, that type of thing, uh, LVDS, when you're doing a differential signal analysis. And uh, anyway, so I've been getting all this stuff set up and it's just been a lot of work, but I'm also having to build some of these special cables for the pulse generator units uh, because they use a very specific uh, type of cabling, twisted pairs, shielding on various sets. And so I've had to try and figure out how to make my own because they're about $300 a pop. So what I'm, I only have two and that only gives me two of the probes. So when I'm doing different tests on uh, some of the FPGA boards, RAM uh, control and the memory control, uh, it's kind of limiting. So I wanted to get more of these units up, but uh, $300 a pop per cable for the official Tektronix uh, probe uh, cables, it's uh, pretty pricey. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing is building my own and I found that I can match it by using some uh, uh, DVI cables which have the right uh, shielded twisted pairs because of those differential signals that you're analyzing. You, that's a requirement, a number of the cables in that 50 pin. So you have to have, make sure that you have twisted pairs as well as individual shielding, which is pretty critical. And so by using a couple of DVI cables, I can get that requirement and then just a, you know, a second uh, serial cable that I need where you, you don't really need the twisted pair or shielding at all. Uh, anyway, so it's, uh, it's been a lot of work trying to get everything set up for some of the work that I'm doing and that's, uh, that's on the agenda. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what I've been working on. So that's in the works as well as the... So this is a really old SCSI card. And this is the particular type of card that was used, I believe, with the Acclaim ArtSend cartridge. Now I'm not 100% sure, I'm still doing some testing on this, uh, but these particular cards used a very raw type of control for doing the SCSI protocol. And essentially what you were doing is uh, the scripts that you would run and the, li the different libraries that you would use with your C code um, we're actually performing raw I.O. function calls uh, in assembly and you would use your uh, C commands to actually drive those raw I.O. control signals and, uh, and then that way you were able to essentially control the SCSI protocol by accessing various registers and then setting up all the registers for sending out the SCSI protocol uh, over those uh, DB25 connectors. And so uh, it's just a, it was just one of the early SCSI cards that were used. And I'm pretty sure this was the type of card used 
uh, for again for the N64 Artsen cartridges uh, used by Acclaim during the uh, development of the Turok games and uh, many others. So that's something I'm working on. It'd be really awesome to be able to demo that. And so I'm pretty excited uh, to where that is going to go. So that's something I'm working on. Now, one cool thing that I did manage to get working, and that is a network interface uh, for being able to run uh, different automation scripts uh, for capturing data as well as performing setups. Um, you know, con configuration for all the different modules that I've running, whether it's the logic analyzer units or, or the pulse generators, capturing data and then extracting that data uh, over the network to a, a separate program that you can create in uh, C, you know, if, whether you're using a, a Visual Studio Code or whatnot, uh, you can create your own separate programs that allow direct uh, interface. So you actually have like a DLL that you connect to and interface with. Uh, in your source code, and then you can actually access the hardware uh, over the network, uh, which is a, uh, you have a, a designated IP address, and uh, it does that all automatically through uh, a DCOM um, uh, interface. The logic analyzer system, that's TLI, and then for the pulse generator units, that's called PPI. And it's uh, just a, a raw uh, type of uh, network interface and allowing you direct access to do automation scripts so it's pretty awesome. So I'm really happy I got that going. And so it's gonna allow me to do some really cool uh, automation setups for all the different testing that I'm doing. So I was really excited to get that up and running. Also, the last thing that I'll just mention, uh, I've recently done a major upgrade on my PC. So I got a new uh, brand spanking new PC here with an i9 core uh, by Intel there. And that's the 13th gen i9. Uh, that's the uh, 13900KF and as you can see I got the Asus uh, graphics card here. This is the GeForce uh, RTX 4070 Super and uh, I guess the, these are about six months old maybe a little more uh, but uh, I'm anxious to get this set up and what it's gonna mean is that I'll finally be able to start doing uh, 4k content for my channel which is pretty awesome so I'm pretty psyched about that and uh, you know, I got a new motherboard, power supply here, 1000 watt, and uh, some hard drives there, as well as a cooler, uh, an Asus uh, ProArt LC420. So that's uh, it's gonna be fun to build this, put it together, and get it all up and running. And so, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. So, I'm gonna start finally punching out 4K content. I'm way late in the game, uh, but I've just <laughs> It's for me, it's always been, you know, buying electronics gear and test equipment as opposed to upgrading my PC finally. So I figured I'd do the make the plunge. And so that's coming. So it should be pretty cool. And, and as well, uh, some more uh, game dev gear that I'll be uh, uh, throwing up on the channel. Some demos I got the, uh, uh, on the on the agenda for videos, I have uh, uh, another video for the uh, N64 uh, blender tutorial that I had put together. I was slapping those out while I was in the midst of the move. But uh, now it's, um, I've got one left to do, so I'll be posting that fairly soon. And then from there, I'm gonna be diving into the uh, Intelligent Systems Snake Box uh, with the uh, developer that I'm partnering up with, an old school developer that he's done a lot of 3DS related development in the past. And so he's very familiar with that development process. And so we're gonna be, uh, he's gonna be helping me out and getting that up and going. And then I'll be able to create some pretty in-depth um, intelligent systems, uh, 3DS related development with the intelligent systems snake box. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a little update and let you know that I'm still alive and still uh, getting things going here. So yeah. Anyhow, cheers.